from For the Love of Paper and I am here with a layout process video for you today and I'm using um, the collection I got, uh, what is it, Color Me Happy, I think, that I picked up from Coco Vanilla Studios. Um, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below and I am scrapping a photo of me from my wedding. Um, I found a whole bunch of printed wedding photos that I didn't even know it that I had printed out years ago uh, so I've decided that I might start scrapping some of those. Um, I got out my gelatos and some watercolour paints so that I could colour in this um, background piece of paper. So I was trying to match it to the colours in the photo but the photo's quite muted. Um, my bouquet was um, purple, the flowers were purple and um, a pinky colour, kind of pinky purple colour but in the photo they look blue and kind of a, a coral colour so I was trying to make it somewhat purple and then somewhat looking like the the photo itself so I went with a purple gelato and then I mixed a pink and an orangey coloured gelato together and then just um, painted a few of the flowers. I didn't paint all of them and I didn't paint every bunch. I just picked a few big flowers here and there to colour in those two colours and then I went over with a lime green um, colour on a few of the leaves. Not even the same little bunches so it was just a little hint of green across the page. You can hardly even see it um, on the video. It's quite light which is what I wanted. I wanted the background to be quite muted um, because the photo was really. So it took me ages to do that so the video is a little bit cut up um, in that part so I apologize about that but otherwise the video would have been like an hour and a bit long even sped up. It took me freaking ages to do it all but I really like the effect um, that it that it I don't know what word I'm trying to think of that. I just like the effect that I came up with um, for that one. So then I was picking out a few of these word cutter parts that were also from the um, Color Me Happy collection and some of those wood veneer as well. Then I was deciding maybe I wanted to use this piece just to frame the photo and then mount it onto something else and then I was trying to find another colour that I could mount it on but I really liked the pink which is the reverse side of that um, page and I quite liked the grey as well so I was trying to decide which way I wanted to do it so then I laid the three pages out like that and that's how I decided I liked the little tiny pink border then with the grey so and I didn't want to cut up I've only got two of these sheets of paper and I didn't want to cut the other one up so um, because I didn't know what I wanted to use the other one for so I just cut out a little a little square and I do um, skip this part because I think it took me about 20 minutes to do it because I walked away and came back and then I got a phone call and walked away and came back so it was all chopped up so I just um, cut that little piece out and then stuck my photo to the pink side. And that way I'm not wasting the paper because it wouldn't have been seen anyway. So that's my little um, I don't know, scroogey thing that I like to do to conserve the paper that I really, really like. I know I could just buy another sheet, but I will maximize the one that I have already. So I trimmed that down a little bit and then I think I stick it, yeah, stick it down to the gray. So looking back, I could have just not coloured in all of those flowers that you see there, but never mind. Um, I did it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, then I was just <laughs> working out how big my picture was so that I could cut the grey to size. So I did make this layer quite a bit bigger than the other one. Normally I do quite skinny little layers, but this one I did quite a bit bigger as I, I felt it needed a decent sort of chunky border on it. And then I just went through and was um, putting some embellishments around the page. This page, this layout is actually, for the time it took me, <laughs> took me ages to do, um, there really isn't much to it. It's a very, very 
simple, simplistic layout. Like, really, there's hardly anything on the page. But, um, and I like that because it really lets the photo show. And this is, oh, sorry. I banged my camera and then I had to fix it up. So sorry about that. This is probably my most favorite photo of me ever, other than maybe a, a chunky baby photo. Um, so I wanted the photo to really shine and not have too much embellishments and titles and stuff like that um, around it. So I can't remember what all those phrases were. Happy memories, so beautiful and remember this. I think that's what those three say. And then I wanted to use the wood veneer memories and then I tried to use these stickers. I really wanted to use these stickers on them. What did, what word did I try? Oh, wonderful. Because I thought wonderful memories would work well um, as a title. But as you can see, the uh, it doesn't look as bad now that I'm looking back at it. But the wonderful kind of just blends in and you can't really read it. I think it's just too small of a font for me to be able to see it. So then I was like, oh, maybe happy and smile could work. But again, the smile just... The ha I think the happy kind of blended in too much then. So I just, it wasn't working for me. So I tried to find one of these cut aparts, which were also from the same collection. And I had, I think this is why it took me so long. I spent the first half an hour chopping up all of these, um, the cut aparts and all of those tiny little words. And it took me freaking ages and I had actually filmed all of that because I didn't think I was going to cut them all up. I was just going to cut a few out. And yeah, then I just got sidetracked and forgot I was filming and <laughs> ended up filming all of that. So that was all in it and I've cut all that out. She didn't need to see that. And then I just mount the words as a sweet, yeah, sweet memories. So I mount that word on some foam tape that I didn't even know I had and found in my drawer when I was tidying up. Oh, and then I had an explosion with this, a serious explosion. I don't know why the top of this always gets freaking blocked up and I was trying to unblock it. <laughs> Just this massive big pool of it splodged out. So I could use it. I just pop it, popped it on with my finger. It actually went on a lot better than, um, had I used, uh, um, had I used the bottle. It did get stuck in the, the ease, I think. So I just um, got a pencil and got it out. It was actually just the metal bit of the pencil, so there's not lead all over it. So I actually like having the little glue glue splodge there that I can uh, use to dip things in. It does make it um, a lot easier <laughs> to glue things down. So I might use that in the future, although I probably would waste a lot more glue than normal. So I just stick everything down and what's that? Oh, a little heart puffy sticker. Oh, I thought I left that there. Hmm. Oh, I used the white one. Okay. I think I just was too much pink for me. The other one was just too bright because it was more of a red than a pink. And I got out this twine that I got from stamping up. This is the first time I've used it. It's only just arrived the other day and I've been wanting to use it on the layout and this just seemed perfect to go around the little uh, flare badge. I can't remember. I think it's his best best ever. I think that's what the flare badge said which kind of sums up that photo for me. Anyway this is my best photo ever but I mean who doesn't look good on their wedding day. I think most women would say that's when they've looked their best, I would guess. Um, and these little hearts pop up the top. Sorry, you saw my phone there. I got a phone call. I was actually talking to my grandma while I was doing the last bit of this video. Um, uh, this is my little jar of embellishments that I've been making. I've been cutting down some old Project Life cards and just punching out some shapes and using my uh, Big Shot to cut out a few shapes as well. And so they've just all ended up on this little dish. So I added a couple of um, gold hearts. Oh, I 
think they were. Yeah, full of gold hearts. And that is it for this layout. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.